Hey guys, it's I am Spoon, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and record my third session of How Not to Survive. Uh, now you'll see I am doing a little bit different than what I was normally doing, which is running out in the open, mainly because uh, it's night, and this update is making all these cows go crazy. So I can only imagine there's some kind of scary monster outside. Actually, I just want to kind of get some materials down. I'm going to turn this into, uh, you know, kind of like a let's play thing, but I'm still going to be a little more adventurous than I normally am. Uh, normally, I sit around inside my house all day and I try, I try to just avoid uh, monsters and stuff like that. But uh, this one, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and explore and go cave spelunking. I, don't, I guess that's what the cool kids are calling it these days. Um, but I managed to build up some iron from the, uh, or as Risky would put, iron. I, built, I meant to managed to build up some iron from last round, so uh, I think I'll be good in that sense. Right now I'm kind of just seeing where I want to go. I think I was going to dig out this area. I was going to see if I could find like a, a cool place to start digging downwards into a cavern or something. Because yeah, I want to go find some diamond materials. Um, but what I'm going to do with this series is uh, mainly going to focus on topics. Because normally on my channel I don't really focus on topics. I'm kind of random. Um, but what I'm going to kind of turn this into, since it's a Minecraft kind of experience, I want to try and make these a little more quality, uh, especially for more of a community channel. Oh, i got some scary music somewhere. Ooh, man. That's, uh, that's frightening. But uh, what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to make some kind of a uh, little series out of it, uh, and a series where I kind of talk about nothingness. And so that's what I'm going to do here. But uh, what I want to talk about today is uh, about you guys. Uh, and not you guys as in the subscribers, but you guys as in the subscribers that are interested in making your own channel. Um, because I've been having people say, uh, you know, I want to make a channel because this is fun. Uh, I like being involved in communities, and that's great. Uh, I want you guys to be involved in this community. But a lot of people don't just like posting or submitting videos uh, to me uh, or this channel. A lot of people like uh, making their own videos, which is fine. But uh, I've had a lot of people say, you know, I'm making videos and I just don't, I don't feel like doing it anymore because, like, uh, I'm just not getting the biggest feedback. And I'm not getting very many subscribers. And that's all fun and games. Um, and that's, you know, that's, that's what this is about. Um, and if you feel like it's not fun, then yeah, don't do it. But if you're not feeling like it's fun just because you're not getting very many subscribers, the way I look at it is don't, don't worry about subscribers. Um, because... If you worry about subscribers, then you're not going to have a good time with the channel. And uh, you're going to feel let down each time. Because I start out with subscribers. I realize that I kind of only been around for about a month and a half. But this is just kind of my take on it. And uh, in that month and a half, I only had... Or not a month and a half. In about the first few weeks, I only had like 40 subscribers. Because I only record a few videos with my Dazzle, uh, my Dazzle HD. It wasn't the best of quality. It wasn't that fantastical. But uh, it was fun for me. And uh, that's why I kind of stuck around. And uh, then I started playing Minecraft because I saw about it. And I was like, oh, man, I want that. And so, uh, so that's what happened. And then I saw Risky's uh, submission video. He's like, hey, we want directors. And I said, oh, that'd be kind of cool. I like communities. I haven't been involved in a community yet. And I've been trying to learn more about Minecraft. And so here we are. And from that 50 subscribers, I've grown into nearly 800 in that month and a half. Um, now the reason why that's happened is because I've had great people uh, supporting me and uh, stuff like that. I haven't really done too much work on my own. I just kind of uh, fell into it, if that makes sense. But uh, what I want to say is don't don't get your hopes up just because you're not getting that many subscribers. I had a few people that said, "Hey, uh, you know, what do I want? What should I do with my channel? I'm just not feeling it. I'm not getting the hang of it. I'm not having very many subscribers." And my suggestion to you guys who have channels who don't have that many people uh, subscribing to you is don't don't worry about it um, because if you worry about it and you stress yourself over it, you're gonna find yourself not having as much fun uh, with that as you should be, and you're gonna lose interest in uh, in posting videos really quickly. And I don't want that. I don't want you guys to stop losing interest in videos just because you feel like you're not excelling at uh, YouTube because to be honest YouTube is just YouTube it's not a life or death thing and you don't have to worry about it that much it's not that big a deal um, so for those of you that do like posting YouTube videos keep at it even if you're not having many subscribers because they will come you just have to post enjoyable content and focus on your subscribers um, don't just go out there and and uh, 
record videos and then that's it you know pay attention to your subscribers and and see what they want to see or, or hear what they want to see and and post what they want uh, because that's ultimately what it is I enjoy uh, well I guess not enjoy but the, the whole reason why I started doing YouTube is because all these Modern Warfare 2 videos and you'll hardly see any Modern Warfare 2 unless I uh, post to a community channel and I really don't know what I want to do I kinda wanna go downwards again let me check outside and see if it's kinda light out yet because I wanna go back outside and explore some more especially with this new Halloween update it's pretty fun but uh, I post Modern Warfare 2 videos to other community channels right now and then I'll do one or two on my channel as well sometimes um, for the most part. Hey, it's daytime. Nice. Any creepers? Any creepers? Any creepers? Creepers? Okay, no creepers. <laughs> oh, man. For those of you that were hanging out with me in my live stream the other day, these creepers kept on killing me over and over again, and it drove me nuts. So I'm being very, very, very cautious. In fact, I'm going to be so cautious, I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. That's That kind of defeats the purpose of the uh, how not to survive. By the way, guys, if you guys see that music coming in, uh, it's really, really nice. The music they put in the update is just amazing so far. But uh, what I'm saying is, Modern Warfare 2 won't be on my channel very much anymore because people said, you know, we don't want to see this. Modern Warfare 2 is over. Uh, it's lame. It's not really that great. Of course, there's some people that still play it and people still like watching it, but for the most part, the game's dead. And uh, so what I did was I focused on other things like Minecraft. Minecraft to me is alright, but as far as live commentary goes and streaming it, it can only go so far. It's not just, it doesn't go forever and ever. And uh, so that's why I stopped recording Modern Warfare 2 and switched to something like Minecraft, or I'll switch to something like Red Dead Redemption. And, uh, hold on guys, I want to try something with, uh, with this real quick. Let me try this. Where's that button at? That's not it. Where's it at? There it is. I want to try this. This will be fun, guys. Let's get a little video going. Okay, that's enough of that. It wasn't that epic, guys. You can, you can uh, press F1. It makes you not have any kind of HUD, uh, which is heads-up display, and uh, you can put it in crouch, and you can kind of slowly move to the right or left. You can make some really cool, like, uh, cinematic intros to your gameplay or stuff like that, and that's kind of cool. Uh, Risky showed me that the other day, and I thought it was really cool. And also, if you use F1 when you're outside of your camera like this, watch this. Hey, it's the front of me. Hey. Hey, Internet. How's it going? And I have a, I'm a spoon, if you guys haven't noticed. See? I'm a spoon. Clever, eh? But uh, yeah, so once you go into F1, you can go into like a HUD, uh, no HUD mode, and it's really kind of cool for uh, with music playing like that, and it kind of makes a little cinematic effect. Oh, look what I found! That is nice. Now I gotta find out where my house is. Oh God, I lost it. Um, but yeah, like I was saying about uh, Modern Warfare 2 and why I stopped doing it, it's because people were like, "Oh, we don't care about this anymore," and stop posting. We want to see other stuff. And uh, so I listen to what everybody says, and I check out my videos and see what the comments are. I see what the uh, ratings are. And for this next five minutes, I'm going to be trying to find my house, because I cannot remember where it is. But uh, I've focused on Red Dead Redemption, uh, that that uh, music app, Easy Muse. Um, I've focused on uh, Minecraft, even though it's you know Minecraft's fun, but it's more fun to play by yourself. And I don't really like recording commentary that much. Or doing live streams just because it kind of gets repetitive. Uh, it feels like I'm doing the same thing. I lose stuff to talk about. I get distracted a lot. But I do it because you guys like seeing it, and it's fun for you guys. So there you go. That's all. That's all I really care about is you guys. I don't do a YouTube channel so I can go and watch it later on and teach myself stuff uh, or watch myself. I mean, you know, watching myself is fun. It makes me feel all kind of cocky and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> giggity. But there's uh there's no point in doing it. God, where is my house? This is making me angry. Oh, man. I really hope I haven't lost it. Um, oh, no. But, uh, 
yeah. So I, I'm all about uh, my subscribers and I'm all about uh, my viewers on live stream and, and on YouTube. I'm all about uh, pleasing you guys, giggity once again. Um, so all you guys that are thinking about quitting just because you're not getting very many subscribers, and I am directing this to someone, not saying any names, but uh, this is going to base, uh, this is going to touch base for a lot of uh, generalized audience as well. Uh, but for those of you that feel like quitting just because you're not getting very far into it, hey, look, Cole, um, don't, don't quit. Just if you're worried about subscribers, which you shouldn't be, then focus on what you ones that you already do have say. And then what I did with my channel is I made friends in all the right places, and uh, that kind of involves some luck, and at the same time involves uh, doing what your subscribers like as well. Um, like you'll see me, I know a few people that are really helpful on my channel. They'll give me uh, ideas. They'll say, "Hey, you should try this. You should try this." Oh, bacon, nice. And uh, I kind of have help in that sense. But at the same time, um, I'll have uh, people that are, I mean, there's a few people that are kind of uh, negative. Not really a few, more like one person uh, that will make an account and go, I'm going to thumb down all your stuff. So, I mean, you have bad stuff like that and you have great stuff uh, to where people come on your channel and give you great feedback and suggest things and give you really... Uh, positive feedback and you'll, you'll feel really good about what you do. So you kind of have your ups and downs, but when I say don't just quit just because, that means don't worry about the down times. Just you know, enjoy the good times and the enjoyable moments and uh, when there's a down time then kind of just fight through it. Like I gained 500 subscribers within the first week of being on the Minecraft hub and, and then uh, STL cards had a video featured on uh, Mercury Durker's channel, and I was on his sub box, so I think I gained a few people through that as well. But uh, other than that, a lot of my subscribers come here, and then I'll have a few that are not from any of these channels and just kind of found me on their own or said, "Oh, I was shown you by a friend," and uh, and that's where those people come from. And also, I'll have people. See, I'm kind of looking around here. I'm not exactly sure where I, where I park my car. I mean, where my house is. <laughs> no, I meant to say where I park my car because I say that I say that a lot because you know how you, when you leave a parking or where you come out of a parking lot you're like oh, I can't remember where I parked. It's kind of like the same thing here. I can't remember where I parked my house. I can't remember for the life of me. Um, but yeah, I'll have a few people that have stuck around from the beginning. Like I'll have a few people that are in my live streams, uh, even when I'm not on live stream, just because like oh I'm just you know I wanted to see if you'd do it today, so I kind of just sit around here with this minimized in my background on my PC waiting. And uh, that's dedication, but there's not really a reason to do that. No offense to you guys that stick around my live stream and just wait for me to get on. Um, but really, you don't need to do that. You have stuff you could do in real life. I'm not that cool. But for the people that do sit around my live streams and wait for me to get online, uh, just because you want to see new content coming out, uh, thanks to you. Because you guys, uh, you guys do keep me going. And I'm not asking you to keep sticking around my live streams for hours on end, just even while I'm not there, because that's kind of unnecessary. But uh, but you, if you if you want to, that's great. Really makes me feel good about myself. Makes me think I'm doing something right. Oh man, it's getting dark, and I don't know where my house is. Oh man, I've been outside all day trying to find it, and there's no creepers there attacking. Now, as soon as I go out and I know where my house is, I bet they're gonna attack me. So let me go ahead and dig in here real quick because it, it's about 15 minutes. And I'm trying to. Oh god, I'm trying. To, yeah, losing your house is how not to survive. So I guess this kind of follows the. Uh, holy crap! Suicidal pig. Do you see that? That was awesome. That pig just <laughs> he's just <laughs> just killed himself. <laughs> oh goodness. But uh, guys, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, and uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, uh, checking out the suicidal pig there, but that's how not to survive your third session, and uh, it's called losing your house, and that was completely accidental, but uh, I'm going to find it, and next session I have, I'm going to try and find my house again before I bring it back up, but uh, thanks for watching guys, and uh, remember, all you, subscribe all, you, all you people out there that have channels, don't give up, just keep going at it. And I'm sure you'll do fine. But uh, until next time, I'll spoon you guys later.